Welcome back everyone, Toys is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Marvel Legends team took to their YouTube Hasbro Pulse channel today, Ryan, Dwight, and of course Dan. His, his sound is working today. We got to hear from, from Dan, that was a good thing. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed overall. I was told there would be new curtains, but Dwight did not have new curtains, so that was, uh, that was false advertising right there. That was uh, a little disappointing, just saying promise curtains I expect new curtains but anyways we i'm really excited we got a lot of new marvel legends coming a lot of stuff that i'm like particularly interested in because 90s you know maniac all that kind of stuff to start it off i will tell you that when applicable everything that's newly revealed i'll have links in the description below for amazon and entertainment earth those are the two that i use thank you so much for using my links help the channel yada yada let's get into it they did a quick recap. By quick, I mean it took about 25 minutes, but hey, you know what? Who's counting, right? <laughs> they got to sell us on this. Also, it kind of opened up a, a few more things that we really didn't know kind of going in. We just had the photos. So it's good when they do the recaps. That way it kills all the speculation and it goes like, oh, okay, that's actually what it is. The Infinity Saga is going to be... You know, the Thor, the single Thor, that is going to be 100% new sculpt, so that's cool to see. The Quicksilver comes with Ultron bits, punchable pieces, arm, torso, spine head for the robots. They did cheekily suggest that you could buy many just to get, uh, you know, more parts of the thing. <laughs> we just need one. Anyways, 100% all new sculpt. Sorry, Ryan. Anyways, the Odin figure, new sculpt, and they did kind of hint that eventually they would like to see more characters from Asgard, like the Warriors 3. So maybe sort of, kind of, sort of coming soon. In that sense. We we'll always say coming soon. Whenever it comes, right? <laughs> Iron Man, Thanos, Maximum Snappage, Infinity Saga pack. Iron Man, they went over this real quick. He has a new neck tech sort of deal. You just kind of pull the whole head with the neck so that the suit, you know how it kind of retracts back. You get to see his... It's more accurate to the film. Let's just put it that way. The flesh is now visible. It was the whole thing. Anyways, yeah, the, the neck. <laughs> you can see the neck. The Thanos figure, I think he looks good. I just, the the dust head or whatever they're calling it, I don't think it looks, you know, like it's supposed to look like. That's just me. But uh, overall, I would say for those of you like obsessed with the MCU and really into getting another Thanos figure, yeah, it's definitely going to be for you. They did go over previous Thanos figures and kind of sort of how to now assemble a fully functional Thanos from the movie. They did go over, and this is what I like about when they do these types of things, especially the Marvel Legends team. They'll full on tell you like, look, we got concept art or we got... The idea, as much as Marvel will tell them, to, hey, make figures. So when they say, this is going to happen, and then they make it, and then they go, oh, you know what? We totally changed it. It's this. That's why we get these wildly inaccurate figures. It's multiple people talking to each other. So that's why we get more MCU figures later down the road that will be more spot on to what we saw in the film. It's not ideal, but, you know, at least you get... If you didn't buy them before, now you can get them... Now, the Amazon-exclusive Captain Marvel Rescue Pack. This is cool. The gauntlet that Captain Marvel comes with is hollow, and you can attach it pretty much on any figure, though that was kind of cool. The Mark III Iron Man, you know, new pieces, new sculpt, things of that nature. Obadiah Stain and the Iron Monger 2-pack. This is Dwight's favorite. <laughs> This is uh, functioning pistons on the Ironmonger. The Ironmonger is massive. It's bigger. It's a bigger figure than the prior non-Legends-ish Ironmonger. And then it's slightly over 9 inches tall. So if you're stoked on that, yeah. They didn't really go over Obadiah. He's pretty much a new head on a suited body. And he comes with the heart of Tony Stark or whatever you want to call that thing. Happy Hogan and the Midas Armor Target exclusive. Now... Fans of, like, to say, the Mandalorian, you might want to get this for your more heavy arms type Mandalorian, right? The big suited one. They now have three suited bodies. This is a new suited body that is designed more to be like, a, you know, in so many words, hefty, chunky sort of style for Jon Favreau. No disrespect, but you know what I mean. He's kind of like the heavier guy. And the, the phone, isn't that from Spider-Man Far From Home or something like that? Easter egg. You can tell me. I... 
I really don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> it's they didn't really care for that movie. Walmart exclusive Captain America. Some people, I guess, were saying that because of the photos, the colors looked off. Rest assured, the colors are on model. I think they were saying it's the way the the light hit it. But yeah, the colors should be very accurate. And the one that hands down pre-ordered it. I was like, boom, this is mine. Searcher, big fan of Thor Ragnarok, 13 inches tall, sword, translucency, the whole shebang. If he's not going my Thor section, he's going up against my Ghost Riders, that's for sure. They also kind of recapped the various uh, fan props, things of that nature. Eye of Agamotto, if you want that, lights up, yada yada. It's just not my thing, so I'm not going to bore you with it, uh, me talking it up and everything. But uh, the Iron Man gauntlet, stones are removable. Magnetized. It looks cool. Ryan put it on, showed it off. If, again, that's your type of thing, might be fun for a convention or just to take some wild photos or put it in your collection. That also as well. Now, here's where we get in the fun stuff, right? MCU, you had your time. Now it's the comic book people. And Dan, he took it over and talked about, hey, remember Age of Apocalypse? Remember the Sugar Man build a figure wave from 2020? Also, if you're interested, the Marvel's Apocalypse from the AOA wave will be going back up. So if you missed him, you can grab him. If he goes up on certain websites, I will put the link again in the description below. New AOA wave, wave two, so stoked on this. It's the hair wave, right? That's what we're talking. We're getting Legion. This has been on my list. I've talked about this many a times. I love the show. I like this character. I think I like his hair. More than anything, we're finally getting a Legion figure comes with a pair of extra hands. Next up is Magneto, again, keeping with the hair theme, braided hair, alternate head with the he uh, with the helmet and the hair, effect pieces, hands, all that jazz. He looks great. Rogue, in whatever outfit you want to call this, puffy sleeves and bathing suit, swim trunks, pearl necklace, whatever you want to call this. This looks cool as well. She comes with a pair of extra hands. Cyclops. Again, every character in this wave has some beautiful hair. Silky, smooth hair. It's just wild 90s action. Cyclops has, you'll notice, like Wolverine scrapes and all that kind of stuff all over him. So he looks cool. I'm not a big fan, let's just say, of the legs. Those are those wonky legs on him, but yeah, the figure looks cool. <laughs> Iceman, now this is the more spiked out AOA Iceman, and again, he looks good. Transparent plastic, I definitely dig that. Shadow Cat, she looks good as well. Extra hands, she's got the claws. That's a cool looking figure. These are all digital renders, by the way. This is how they're kind of showing them off now. So variances can change here and there in the paint pictures as it kind of moves on. But as they said, for the general consensus, this is what... They will look like. And then uh, finally, yeah, the big figure is going to be Sabretooth. And it's on the larger Colossus body. He comes with alternate hands, alternate heads, and the chain for Wild Child. So if you got that from the first wave, yeah, you can do Wild Child. And then if you haven't guessed the build a figure, this is actually pretty cool. This is a great, great reveal right here. We're getting the Colossus from AOA. I love the way this thing looks. That pops, the gunmetal. The red, the pirate hat look, everything, that looks fantastic, extra hands. So again, I'll put the pre-order links when they come up, they'll be down below. You can get it today as of around 1 p.m. Eastern, so that's 10 a.m. Pacific. Love the boxes, I love this wave. This is what I've been looking forward to as far as Marvel Legends. MCU, I go either way, mostly the other way. I like uh, Searcher, but uh, yeah, when you show me comic book stuff like this, 90s stuff, I'm all about it. Especially when you want to do Spider-Man the Animated Series, the retro card backs again. We got a new look at an upcoming figure, so we got the Web Man, and now we're getting a retread to Spider-Man 2099. And this is cool because they give him extra hands now. And then also you get more of a metallic blue sort of deal to him. He's a little bit, he's updated. It is the Pizza Spider-Man body, but it's, I think it's done a little bit more spot on to 2099 and he has a more updated comic book chest symbol, his really weird skull spider thing, but it's updated and it looks great. So very excited about that. Very excited of, you know, more Spider-Man retro figures. That would have been 
cool to see more. Maybe we will see more. Who knows? Anyways, leading it off with the Marvel 375. Now, if you haven't gotten them already, uh, was it Wave 3 is starting to hit stores, but now we got to look at Wave 4. This will be available later in the year. And we're going to start it off with the U.S. Agent. So he looks good. Loki, U.S. Agent, Loki, Disney+. Plus, Bit of a tie-in. Probably not. That would be too coincidental. This one's awesome. Symbiote Spider-Man. I don't know why that looks so dang good with the whole 375 look. Reminds me of super, uh, superpowers. Secret Wars, all that kind of stuff. So very cool to see him. We're also getting the giant size X-Men look for Storm, or if you want to say the video game. So she looks great. Glad they're doing Storm. I think she looks cool. Stealth Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. It, it can't deny. He looks good, but um, I would have preferred any other character, to be honest with you. But the number one, next to Symbiote Spider-Man, of course, is Silver Surfer. And he comes with a little peg on the board. You can fly him around. He looks great. Awesome. So stoked on Silver Surfer. He will be mine day one. The hints section, right? They always like to do this. They had MCU, like end credit style. This wasn't really a hint. They were just like, boom, here you go. Tigra will be coming somehow, some way, later down the road in the Marvel Legends line. She will have double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, and she will feature the pinless technology so she looks good this was like a bit of a render that they got going and then of course Dwight he was like oh, I gotta leave you guys with one more hint so speculate away of course what could this possibly possibly be who knows looks like a little dragon on a giant sword who knows what it could be it could be many different could be a different version of the character right who knows it's all magic anyways thank you to Dwight Ryan and Dan great show very engaging very uplifting, likes the jokes. I like that they have fun, I have fun, and I hope you guys did too as well. But I am curious to know, which of these new reveals do you like? What about the MCU stuff? For those of you that dig that, Spider-Man, AOA, yeah? Anything picking up, comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, more Spider-Man the Animated Series, please. And also, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll have some Spider-Man animated today as well. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>